My name is Dan Henry, and when I was 16 years old, I decided that I wanted to be rich. So I studied as many wealthy entrepreneurs as I could and used what I learned to create my own successful business. The purpose of this channel is to share my research with the world and show you how they got rich. By far the best dressed of all the Shark Tank stars, Damon John turned his passion for design into a billion dollar company. With only $40 in hand, a few sewing machines in the back of his mother's house, and three of his friends, Damon John built a clothing empire now valued at more than $6 billion. Despite his incredible success now, the path to get there wasn't an easy one. Damon was raised by a single mother who had to work constantly just to keep them afloat. Damon managed to convince his mother to mortgage her house just so he would have enough money to be able to start his company. Between barely having enough money to get started and facing companies that wouldn't sell to a man of color, how did Damon John become a highly successful multimillionaire? The Queen's New York native has always had a knack for fashion. A passionate music fan, Damon fell in love with the rap and hip-hop scene that began to emerge throughout the 1990s. Desperately wanting to be a part of that culture, Damon started wearing the clothes and keeping up with the latest hip-hop styles. It wasn't always easy to do that, though. Damon started to realize that there weren't many brands who were willing to sell to African Americans, much less African American rappers and hip-hop artists. One company Damon tried to buy from even said, we don't sell our boots to drug dealers, in reference to the rappers trying to buy their clothing. All of this furthered Damon's determination to create an inclusive company for anyone who loved this music and wanted to be a part of the culture. With a dream to design the latest and greatest fashion for hip-hop artists and rappers, Damon started learning everything he could about the retail market. He told his mother that he wanted to design men's fashion, so she taught him how to sew simple wool caps. Damon bought some inexpensive fabric, made 80 more caps, and sold them all for 10 bucks a piece. That was the first $800 he made in the world of style. He never went back. After seeing Damon's determination and passion for fashion, his mother decided to mortgage her house for $100,000 and put that towards Damon's new brand, For Us, By Us, FUBU, a brand where anyone with a passion for rap and hip-hop music could get the clothes they love. From there, Damon really set to work, splitting his time between FUBU and waiting tables at Red Lobster. He told Tim Ferriss in an interview, to the public, FUBU was a huge company. Little did they know that I was still serving them shrimp and biscuits. As his company began to grow, he decided he had enough business to leave his job at Red Lobster and devote his full attention to FUBU. He worked tirelessly to make FUBU into a name that every hip-hop lover knew. Always chasing his passion, he used graffiti as marketing and managed to talk his way onto the sets of popular music videos. He used his charisma to market his product and make connections with a few of the most popular rappers and artists of the time, including LL Cool J, Beyonce, and Will Smith. From there, things really took off. In speaking about his rise, Damon says, I never knew anything other than wanting to be an entrepreneur. What began as a small-scale operation with a few sewing machines in his mother's house quickly grew into a multi-million dollar company. By the early 2000s, his company was worth more than $350 million. Today, FUBU has made more than $6 billion in sales worldwide. As the glory days of the 90s and early 2000s hip-hop and rap began to fade, so did Damon's company profits. Although FUBU was still performing well, Damon knew it was time for another challenge. So in 2009, he signed on to be a judge on the hit show Shark Tank. And while some of the other sharks in the show may have already had more money, as well as more of a following, Damon took this as a challenge and ran with it. Not only did he want to participate in the show and lend his expertise to up-and-coming entrepreneurs, but he actually wanted to gain a deeper insight into the art of investing. Damon's passion had gotten him this far, but he knew he could go further. He wanted to educate himself, unlock new experiences, and unleash new potential. And he did just that. Despite being a multimillionaire now, Damon says he continues to live in a broke mindset. He says, when your back is up against the wall and you have no other way to advance or create relationships and you can't buy anybody, you can't buy things to help you, you start to become creative. When you become creative, that's when you think outside the box and that's utilizing the power of broke. Damon's mindset and determination are what earned him his millions, and thankfully, he's happy to share his mindset with the world. In an interview by CNBC, Damon John shares some of his principles that are imperative if you want to become a millionaire yourself. 
Damon tells us that we have to set goals, love what we do, and most importantly, be relentless. It was Damon John's relentlessness that earned him his great success. He refused to quit in the face of discrimination and brought a new style of clothes to the world. He created a brand for anyone that loved hip hop and rap and used his passion to build a billion dollar company. In a fast moving business world, it's not enough to have a great idea. You need to bring it to life, execute it, and keep it moving forward on a constant basis. It's all about bringing a new level of tenacity to whatever it is you're doing. You can't stop. You have to be relentless. You have to keep innovating, creating, and succeeding. That's the life of an entrepreneur. If Damon John could fight his way from nothing to everything, so can you.